Welcome back everybody, it's Alex coming back at you with another video and today we are doing the sequel to my first round mock. I uh, wanted to make sure er all my brain cells were intact when I was able to do this second part so I'm doing it immediately after so this is going to be fun. Now Jets, let's do a quick little recap for you guys. You guys got Jackson Carmen and you guys got um, Trevor Lawrence, of course I forgot the biggest guy in the draft. So. I mean, I think you guys are kind of chilling. You guys are kind of cooking Crisco here. Only reason I got Jackson Carmen, the right side of the line with George Fant, it ain't working out too well. Uh, honestly, I think George Fant would fit better as a guard. The right side of the line has not been doing well. Bottom line. Left side of the line, great. But right side of the line, not so much. Adding Jackson Carmen would have been is could make this line definitely formidable and finally give him the weapons that he needs. Now, see here at number 33, there's a lot of places we can go, man. There's a lot of places we can go. We can go corner if we want to with J.C. Horn. I think that he potentially can sneak into the first. We can go linebacker with Jeremiah Owusu Kimura. Yeah, oh, Koromora. Damn it. I, was, I got so excited. <laughs> um, and, you know, they just traded away Avery Williamson, so it's not too shabby of a pick, which might be the way that we're going. We can also go edge. Quiddy Pay, Carlos Boogie Basham, you know. But let's see who's still here, in my opinion, who's definitely like a top type of talent. And it means that we're going to be going Jeremiah Wusu Kimura. Got it. <laughs> so um, he's def he's a super young, super athletic, rangy linebacker out of Notre Dame. Definitely has potential through the roof. He'll be able to work with C.J. Mosley, who we've kind of forgot is alive there. And he'll be able to just knock it out of the ballpark. Jets, you guys are able to use your picks uh, to potentially thrust yourself up into second place in the division. That's how good these picks could actually be turn out to be because Denzel Mims is starting to look like a solid talent so next Giants what the hell do we do with you man what do we do with you um I mean we could be going Brevin Jordan if you guys want to trade away Evan Ingram that that could be a case definitely don't need an interior defensive lineman and we already got you your tackle so there's a lot of places we can go but a place that I am willing to go is getting rid of JC Horn from this list because he's an absolute beast and um I mean what, your first round pick from two years ago got locked up in jail for Christ's sake. So we're going to be rocking J.C. Horn out of South Carolina here. Next, at um, number 35, we got the Jags. Well, you guys need a tight end. <laughs> That's pretty beneficial. Brevin Jordan falls to the second. He's a very, very, very solid tight end. I like him a lot. But something that actually kind of hit me off guard was I watched Miami without him, and it didn't seem to lose too much of a beat. So that's something I need to continue watching. He might be falling down my draft board a little bit. Next, Dolphins. Man, you guys did such a good job by robbing the Texans. I mean, granted, uh, what's his name? The tackle that you guys sent. Oh, my God. Blanking on his name. Guy who did the gas mask. He's actually been doing really fucking well, like top 10, top 5 tackle in the league. But, uh, I mean, first and two firsts and two seconds overall, it's like, man. I, I don't think anybody's worth that value, for Christ's sakes. Now, at this pick, we could be going a lot of routes, right? You guys could be going running back because, I mean, I know you guys got um, the agility, the swiftness, the catch, of, uh, the catch out of the backfield with uh, Miles Gaskin, but you guys don't really have that power game. So we could be going, we could be rolling with Najee Harris here. That's, that's an option. It's an option, right? Uh, we could be going edge here, and, you know, Quiddy Pay has fallen. But let's look at my updated too, too early big board here. So we can go Cameron McGrone as well. And there's just a lot, there's a lot of options we can go, right? There's just a shit ton of options. Bottom line, there's a shit ton of options. Now, where should we go? That's the real question. Do you guys want edge? Do you guys want tackle? Do you guys want safety? Um, I'm going to be giving you guys with some more offensive weapons, right? You might as well. You need to load up this team for Tua because, like, the last thing you want to do is get him hurt. And Najee Harris could be essentially uh, Derrick Henry 2.0. And to get him in the second round, that doesn't sound too bad to me. So get Najee Harris. He's going to add some versatility to the offense. I think your offense is complete. You know, you got some defensive weapons there, I believe, now. We're, what do we pick for you guys? Oh, okay, we didn't do anything for the damn defense. I'm sorry. But you guys can do some shit in free agency, for Christ's sakes. Like, that offense is going to be loaded. They're going to be doing very well. Tua doesn't have an excuse anymore. Next, Falcons. Now we can go with some more edge presence. You guys need so much help on that defense. Uh, I don't really need to explain that one. I think everybody knows what's going on. Now, safety is needed for the Cowboys. Javon Holland is going to be the guy. He's uh, he's an all-around do-it-all safety, and I think the Cowboys need some stability in that defense. It's going to add some help to that secondary, and it seems like a very solid option there. 
And lo and behold, the Washington, hopefully Red Tails, Washington football team, get a stud tackle in Walker Little. You know, I don't know if Cornelius Lucas is going to be there for too long, and I don't think that Morgan Moses is going to live for too long. So getting a guy like Walker Little definitely is going to be able to fill that void very well. Um, now we have the Chargers, and we can see like a lot of options here. I, I don't really know where to go. I honestly might be going quitty pay at this point uh, because of the fact that I don't know if you guys are going to be keeping around uh, your good old friend Melvin Ingram. There you go. You love how you guys probably love how I like to string out shit so I can actually remember people's names. Um, but we're going to be rolling corner here. Asante Samuel Jr., he has a lot of potential. Obviously, the son of Asante Samuel, somebody who has a very good pedigree. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. You got rid of Desmond King. So kind of fill the void with a much younger, much cheaper talent. Why not, right? Uh, Pats, you guys have so much fucking needs. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing. And you know what? You guys are going to address it. Terrence Marshall is a first-round style wide receiver. Has a lot of a lot of positives, and I think he's going to be able to fulfill the needs, right? Again, I'm not a big guy in interior defensive linemen, so there could be guys like Jay Tuafele and uh, Marvin Wilson who go earlier. But again, this is a, I mean, this is even TDN's draft board. This isn't mine, but I'm not a fan of it. Next, Jags. Uh, you guys have a lot of needs here. And uh, Paris Ford could definitely fit into that defense. I, I like him a lot. That definitely might be a route we go. We could go on the interior of the defensive line, but I don't really think that's a need either. Eric Stokes is good. Paulson Adebo is, a, is an animal, though. Like, if you pair him up, I mean, we're, we're rocking this. This is bullshit. We're, we're rocking Paulson Adebo. Um, I think he's more of a first-round style corner. But Paulson Adebo has always been in that conversation. Paired up with CJ Henderson. Wow. You guys could actually be back to Jalen Ramsey. Um, uh, um, fuck. I can't believe I forgot the guy's name. <laughs> um, AJ Boye type territory. So, uh, Paulson Adebo is going to be an absolute stud for you guys. Now, Bengals. Uh, you guys actually have an aging Geno Atkins. Why not get J2 Afella here, right? We did, did the Bengals actually have another pick? No. We, we haven't given them a damn tackle. They need linemen, for Christ's sakes. What am I saying? Uh, Ryan Slater could either play uh, tackle or guard, so we're going to be kicking him uh, out to tackle, sticking him where he belongs, and give Joe Burrow some form of damn protection, man. I was thinking about going Jalen Mayfield here, but Slater has positional versatility, right? Now, uh, okay, so we have some we have some needs here for our good old friends, the Panthers. Uh, we could be going interior defensive lineman here because there's a plethora of them. We could be going edge if we want to. We don't really need to. Uh, but we can be going tackle because there are some voids on this team. Jalen Mayfield has unlimited potential. And, God, if you guys know anything about me, I I preach how, how important these offensive lines are. Because you'll see every single quarterback, especially a quarterback like uh, Teddy Bridgewater, who's much more of like a stationary passer, they need protection. They need it. They do well with good protection. So give them some protection, and then they'll be able to kick some ass. Now, Lions, you guys don't really need edge, but this might just be a luxury pick. So it's up to you guys. Um, it says you guys need interior defensive line. I'm not going to ignore it anymore. It's either going to be J2 FLA or Marvin Wilson. And I have Marvin Wilson graded higher. So we're going to be going Marvin Wilson here. Excellent steal in the second round. Be able to develop that interior that defensive line very well. You guys have uh, some great pass rushing on the outside as well. Now, Broncos, um, I, I seriously don't know what's up with this BS, uh, but you never, you, know, you can never like trust TDN on all this shit, right? There's a lot of places we can go. We already got linebacker. We could be going linebacker again, right? Cameron McGrone is definitely not a second-round linebacker to me. He has unlimited range. He is super powerful. He reminds me a little bit of a taller but Devin Bush, but obviously not as good as Devin Bush. Otherwise, I'd be all over this dude. Could be going quarterback, but... Again, the quarterbacks are kind of taken. Paris Ford is kind of too good to give up at this point. Uh, pairing him up with Simmons in that backfield would be an excellent option. I know you guys have some options there, but Paris Ford could just offer so much value. I mean, as a rotational safety, put him in the box, basically make him uh, similar to like a linebacker. It's He has a lot of versatility. Paris Ford's an absolute tank. Next, Niners. Um, it's, it's in my idea that the Niners should release... Uh, or cut, for for that matter. Uh, 
Why am I blanking on his name? I can't even... Uh, guys, I'm, I'm blanking on people's names all the damn time here. D. Ford. Quitty Pay is too good to pass up here, okay? Uh, put him in the rotation, even if you keep D. Ford. So, uh, bottom line, I mean, it's just too good to pass up at this point, right? Next, uh, we got the Dolphins. Dolphins, I mean, there's so much that we can go with here. I mean, there's so many interior defensive linemen. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, we could be going Jabril Cox here, though. He is much more of a speedy type linebacker. And honestly, with the way this team rolls, I like their speed, and we're going to keep a speedy. Cameron McGrone, ha I think he's going to be able to sneak possibly into late first with his speed. And he's very similar to Jeremiah Owusu Kimura. Um, I think he's, he's a special type of talent. I like him a lot, definitely as a later round guy. Now, well, look at you, Raiders. You guys are able to get the top uh, D tackled according to TDN of the class. Not too shabby. Bears, uh, you guys do need quarterback, but this isn't really the place for it, right? You know, Jamie Newman, Desmond Ritter, I don't really think they're second-round type of guys, and I don't think the NFL sees them as that either, right? So it is what it is, right? But in that in this place, you can be going a high-end. I think Jalen Tweeman could be definitely a first-round type talent. So, I mean, getting him and being able to put him on that interior defensive line let him learn from every single insane talent that you have there. You lost Eddie Goldman, so he's basically a great replacement. Um, Eagles, I mean, I've been preaching this for a while. Chess Surratt's an absolute fit. He's a perfect fit. Speedy, rangy. And he's the type of guy that you want on your team if you want to make a modern-day team. Chess Surratt is an absolute stud. I think that's going to be an excellent fit. So, hey, it all works out in the end, Eagles fans. Now, uh, Eric Stokes could be the guy here for the uh, for the Browns, but I really think we're going to be going to Israel Mukuwamu here, six foot four. He's just absolute, absolutely insane. Just put him out there. You can never have too many DBs, right? So we're going to be rocking with him. Rams, your first pick. Uh, we're going to be going Hamilcar Rashad because I know he has insane talent. So um, at this point, they're just taking a luxury pick. And at at this spot now, I can understand if you want uh, a Justin Houston replacement. So we're going to be rocking with it for the Colts. I think that would be an excellent option. Honestly, it would be yeah, that would be great. Now, the Bucks, where are we going to roll with you? Honestly, where are we going to roll with you? You guys don't really need linebacker. You don't really need corner. Your defense is freaking insane. We already got you an edge, right? Your offense is great too. Like This team is absolutely loaded, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure this team, this team is pretty loaded. So what we can do is we can add to that corner rotation or we can go to the interior defensive line. And Tyler Shelvin, I heard, has been pretty damn solid. So what's the problem with getting an LSU interior defensive lineman? At this point, why not put him next to Vita Vea? Let him learn from, uh, not Dontari Poe, he just got cut. Um, I cannot believe I'm blanking on people's names today, guys. Uh, he used to play on the Rams and the Lions. Why am I forgetting his name? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I always like talking to you guys. Uh, but there are some guys who are falling, and I think Trayvon Morig, scarily enough, is so Ravens-esque. I think he'd be such a great fit there. Honestly, he'd, he'd just fit in like a freaking glove. Trayvon Morig, absolute stud. Packers, um, you guys don't really need corner. I'm going to be honest. You guys don't need corner. And your offensive line has been playing pretty solid, but Liam Eikenberg is definitely a second to first round type talent. So I'm going to stick him right here. With the cheese heads, please give Aaron Rodgers some help. Honestly, it's ridiculous. Now, um, okay, so Jason Owe is the perfect fit for the Cardinals, in my opinion. I, I love that a lot. Uh, I mean, you guys, Chandler Jones is, like, dying very quickly. And then he, of course, got injured and left for the entire year. But Jason Owe has so much potential. He's scary. Scary, scary. Could slip into the first round if uh, some teams are willing to reach. But... He's scary, so being able to replace Chandler Jones with him or be able to at least have an understudy, oof, oof, that's scary. Uh, next, Titans. You guys if you, you guys really need interior defensive line? I don't think so. Getting a guy like Chris Olave would be fun, though. You have, you have Corey Davis. I don't know how long he's going to be able to stay there. I don't know how much more contract he has. But AJ, AJ Brown is an absolute beast as well. But getting a third guy, because I know Adam Humphreys is not, he's not that dude. Chris Olave is a stud, though. He is a stud. I like him a lot. Get him and just be able to just light up the fucking skies. We already helped out the defense. The defense looks great. Help out the offense a little bit, right? Now, Bills, um, 
Jabril Cox is a perfect fit here. You know, I know they have Milano and they have Edmonds, but Edmonds has been really disappointing. And uh, Jabril Cox can come in and at least help out that linebacker rotation and potentially start. I think that would be a great addition to this team. Eric Stokes is too good to pass up here. We're going to be rocking with him for the Saints. Sorry, Saints fans, if you guys are looking for uh, like an in-depth analysis. I just don't really have much. You guys don't have too many needs. So it is what it is, right? Uh, Kansas City. I mean, I don't know where to go with you. You guys don't really need a wide receiver. If I'm going to be honest, you guys don't need a wide receiver. But we can look at the interior offensive line, right? Why not? It, it can't hurt us. Um, and Elijah Vera Tucker. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Elijah Vera Tucker. <laughs> you guys probably don't want Kansas City, I mean, um, Seattle, to be able to get any offensive linemen. So I could also see that as a defensive pick. <clears throat> Cowboys and the Eagles. Um, so getting Elijah Vera Tucker definitely would be a great option there. Seahawks. What do you, you guys, you guys need so much help, man. Um, this is a spot where I can see them reaching. And a guy like Christian Darasaw is definitely a dude who I can see them reaching for. Uh, Zion Johnson, no, I think Deontay Brown has potential to be a first rounder. Like, I've seen him in first round. I don't understand why they have him at 95. He's going to definitely be the guy going here. Seahawks fans, you all damn well know that they're going to be picking somebody who's ranked down here for the fucking first round pick. But, can't blame them. <laughs> they, they still are always competing. Uh, Steelers, interior defensive line is kind of an issue because I don't know how much longer um, guy we picked up from Jacksonville. Oh my god, I'm blanking on people's names. It's college, you guys, for Christ's sakes. Give me a break. <laughs> um, but we need a running back more than anything. Chuba Hubbard's going to be a great addition to this team. And that's actually, oh, I totally forgot where the last pick. Chuba Hubbard's going to be the last pick here. And I think that's going to be an absolutely amazing pick. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the draft. I mean, it was, that was pretty damn long-winded. It took me over an hour to record all this shit. So, hopefully you guys enjoy Please have some comments down in the comment section. I don't care if it's hate. Uh, I don't care if it's love. I, I Of course, I want love, but hey, you know, if you guys want to voice your own opinions, that's why I did this. I mean, the sports community is one of a kind in the fact that everybody has their own opinion and everybody is kind of stuck to it. And that's why you guys come here to see if other people agree with you. And, you know, it's fun. It's fun. So if you guys want to send some hate, tell me why. You know, that that's the worst thing. I always hear people say like, dude, I hate this draft. Why? Tell me why. I want to hear because you guys are the fans. You guys know what you guys want. You guys know a lot better than me. I know what a Steelers fan wants to want, for Christ's sakes. So, you know, for you guys, please let me know. It makes it so much more fun when I actually get to talk to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the far side. Peace.